86.1, so the painting is done. Now Lance is going to do a, a two session or so pencil drawing of me to show students, potential students, what they would be capable of with a little study with Lance. Lance can teach anybody to be a master painter or drawer. So we're going to pick a pose, take my shirt off. While I'm doing that, I'm going to deliver a, a quick unsolicited plug for a restaurant. I ate there last night, and it is, if you like meat, uh, Dr. Hogley Wogley's Tyler, Texas Barbecue in North Reseda on Sepulveda is it's just a paradise of meat. It used to make me nervous to go there because it used to seem like somebody there was always about to have a heart attack from from being big and eating a lot of meat all at once, but last couple times, no, and you can ask for the lean cuts, and they bring you beautiful, you know, barbecued meat that, that will not give you a heart attack. How do you know? Because I've, I've eaten it. They bring you chicken breasts that have been dying, marinated and cooked until they just fall apart with your fork. And, and a nice briskety thing that has that's had all the fat like just dripped out of it. Can you uh, hang your feet off the chin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're kind of bunched up. Yeah. Now, uh, a good model will try to an experienced model will try to have as many points of support as possible: foot, butt, other foot, arms. Because the more places you, you, you support yourself, the less uncomfortable you'll be an hour into the pose. Can you, know, you, if you, were just can like you turn this, yourself that all way? All your weight would be on your butt, and your butt would start hurting. Okay. Can you turn yourself that way? Yep. Okay, and then turn your head toward me. Okay. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're picking a pose that he can hold but that looks interesting. So it's always a balance because you want as much movement as you can get, but you don't want a pose that the model can't hold unless you're going to work from photographs, and we're not. You know what? I'd like you to be a bit more elevated. That's the problem. Okay. Is that you're, you're... Oh, yeah, you can turn that off. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you what. Can you take your arm away from your... Oh yeah, that's good. That's good light, uh, Director Camille. Um, you know what bothers me is that you're you're kind of crushed into your pants, like your pants are too tight. Can you pull your Puma underwear down? Yeah. By the way, that's a plug for Puma underwear. I don't know if you intended that. No, but I mean, we just go with whatever underwear is on sale at Marshalls. All right. That's better. See, because it was, you don't actually have a fat waist and it was kind of bunching you up. I, you know, I've, I've put on 12 pounds over the last two well, months. Thank God. Since I guess I'm getting used to Trump, I don't get diarrhea as much anymore. Well, that's, that's uh, heartwarming. Here, let me show my, my back of my young, ambitious days. My favorite pose to do was this because it's ridiculous. Um, but very uncomfortable. I, think I could do it for 20 minutes. It was the. Uh, I'd have a book so I could read to distract from the pain of being like this. That's the pose. Don't move. <laughs> it was a good pose, except that um, made my wiener very small. Because it was. You know, I usually, you know, work without pants on and. You know, did you ever get anyone interested in you because you were modeling nude? No, and I wanted. All right, so let's get realistic about this. That's better. That's better. All right. All right, good. Now, I don't, I'm tired of having you staring at me while I argue with you. Yeah, that's a better pose. Okay. That's good. That's good. So this is really a good, good pose. What we have here is is beautiful light. I would, you know what? I'm almost almost tempted to do another painting, but let's first do this drawing. It's a little stiff though. It's a little stiff. Can we can we get you uh, can you loosen up a little bit? All right, look down, look down. 
All right. Okay. Well, we can. And and uh, can you pull your pants down a little bit? Mm -hmm. I want. Yeah, a little further down. That's it. We get some more abdomen. Okay. And uh, are you warm enough? Yeah. All right. That's interesting. Okay. Now. I like the torso, I like the hand. Can you turn the head this way? All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Ooh. Does that hurt? No, it'll get, it'll be fine. No, I don't want to hurt you. Just... No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Well, is the light bothering you? No, I did. Your did, neck? I got a crick, but that's all right. Okay, fine. Turn your chest towards the camera. More. So we're trying to get a twist. That's what we're trying to do. Okay. So I want to get his torso, but I also want his head. You know, I keep doing portraits, but I'm so sick of doing portraits. Oh, shoot. All right. Now, how do we avoid doing a stiff staff pose again? Well, I don't have to. The staff is a, literally a crutch. Okay, fine. Turn your head, turn your head. Let's do something different with the back arm, though. Because you always... No. Turn your, turn your torso towards... That's interesting, except we lose the light then. But that wasn't bad. Why don't we, have, why don't we give you something on the other side? So, guys, uh, I know you expect us to be insulted each other about politics, but this is, this is something you have to do when you're, when you're making art, is every single day I have to pose a model, which I'm happy to do, because it's a nice job, but you do have to do this. He looks so, so biblically Christian right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, he's, all right, now can you turn your chest towards the camera? Hello. And turn your head away from the camera? Okay. Now, uh, let's angle the, let's angle the, uh, look, if you guys want to talk politics now, let's start. All, all right, right so let's just start. There's this Buzz, BuzzFeed article that ah! came out. Yes. Uh, um, a few days ago. Yes. It said that um, Cohen had admitted that Trump had told him to um, yeah. to lie to Congress. Yes. And then that there was an uproar about that, and everybody was like game over on the liberal side for a couple of days, and then. Uh, Mueller said, well, no, that's not entirely accurate. And then everybody on the conservative side was like, ah, oh, game over for, for you guys now. And then there's been a slight retrenchment where BuzzFeed stands by its reporting and says that Mueller was only disagreeing with some minor details. Um, and so it's kind of back to I mean, it's indicative that Mueller has stuff, at least liberals think, so has a lot of stuff. Can you pull your arm behind your back? Which one? The one that's up there on that easel. I don't think that's helping. Okay, turn your whole body towards the model, towards the camera. Now turn your whole face towards me. Now, even further over if you can. Hmm. Well, Rick, uh, what is your conclusion about all this? The, the suspicion is, as a good liberal, my suspicion is that Mueller has quite a bit. And there are comments like from Giuliani, who's just a weird lawyer to have, because it, it often seems, at least as, he's, as he presents himself to the news sources that I watch, that he's like, admitting a lot of stuff lately. Um, and the liberal press calls it moving the goalposts. I don't know what you guys' press calls it, but like he's been heard to say, I guess, that, that when the Mueller report comes out, it'll be horrific. 
and he's been telling people like Jake Tapper that, yeah, that maybe there was some, I don't know, some stuff going on, and I don't know. But you've got the turn, opposite. Turn point. your torso towards the camera. So, um, all right, so all I'm hearing is uh, stuff that's virtually meaningless? No, it's just that it, it, it ha hasn't changed the basic deal, which is, my basic deal has always been wait and see. And the waiting and seeing is for the Mueller report or for more indictments. Mm -hmm. Though there are more opportunities, yeah, that's as far as my head will crank around comfortably. Um, now that the Democrats control the House, you know, they'll have hearings and that offers another dimension to the waiting and seeing. And uh, Cohen's supposed to testify in a couple weeks or two and a half weeks before Congress. That may or may not happen. But you know, I'm not entirely going aha yet. Neither am I. Doesn't sound very convincing to me. You got a left wing rag making up a story about Michael Cohn, which is what left wingers want. Well, not making it up. Just lying. No. Um, well, they stand wanted, by the reporting. Well, they can stand by anything they want. <laughs> it's not really a rag because it's, it's it's not printed. It's it's electronic. <laughs> okay. Well, so uh, it's it's the know, land of listicles. Like so, let me get this straight. What the liberals really want is for is for uh, somebody to accuse Trump of obstructing justice, and so they finally couldn't contain themselves, and they just came out with a story that was so uh, false that um, Mueller had to step in and say, no, we don't have that. Well, the but because it fits what you want to hear, you believe it anyway. Well, not exactly. But the, I believe that there is some substance to the story that it wasn't made up out of whole cloth. And I also think that Mueller, while wanting to dispute some of the story, is also protecting his investigation by disputing the story. Can you turn your head all the way away from me now? Like that way? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that might be better. That might be better. All right. Um, I better get started drawing this. You know, there's never any quite, any perfect pose. Can you move your torso towards that wall? Towards? Yeah, oh, that's good, that's good. Because I'm trying to get all the little details on the side of your rib cage. Okay. All right. All right, great. Fantastic. Well, you know what? You're a man of poor judgment, but I'm going to make you look incredible because you do look incredible in this light. Oh, yeah, I'm about to give you what could be considered a win for you, but really won't. All right. Go ahead. I, you know, I can't. I'll wait till we come back from break because I would have to get out of my pose to get a visual aid. Does this involve adult nudity? Nay. Okay. All right. Well, look, um, I, I really feel, I really feel like it's important that the media, if you're going to accuse something of that is incredibly heinous about the president, you have to be able to prove it. You can't just say, um, you, you can't make shit up, and so far that's what they did. Um, it, and it's, again, you have to sort of, the simplest explanation is that Mueller heard something that is absolutely not going to happen and was forced to step in and say, hey guys, uh, it's not or true. Absolutely I, didn't I, happen. I know, well, that, 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 is what you're saying. that Hello. Trump that Trump ordered, uh, ordered, uh, what's the name of the lawyer, Cohen, Cohen. Cohen, to obstruct, to, to lie. 
I mean, it didn't happen. So you just have to live with that. You can't just you can't just go with that because you hate Trump. It's sad. Okay. And Mueller had to step in and say, "Look, sorry guys, I I know we really hate Trump, but it didn't happen. So, you know, we can't do that." And right. he, he, and, and what bothers me is this: if you're the if you're the president, I mean, if you're the press, and you're the de look here, let me put it to you this way. No one ever hated Obama as much as I did, but he was not caught uh, like in bed with a Chinese spy or something. So I didn't, I didn't wait for that. I didn't long for that, and I, I, and and it would have been irresponsible for the for the news to 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 present that and for me to get excited about it. But the thing is, you guys are so frustrated and so uh, uh, desperate that you'll just grab at anything to get what you want. There's some of that, but there's also like Trump's actual behavior, which lend, lends credence to a lot of stuff. Well, what behavior is that? He just seems like the kind of guy that would tell someone to lie to Congress, to lie to lie to court. I mean, well, you know, he's just. And by the way, the other thing that bothers me about this is that I heard this report while I was driving down the freeway. I said, "Oh, really? Wow, that's obstruction of justice. Did Trump really do that? I mean, I voted for this guy, and he did that. And you know what? For a couple of days, I thought it was true. I thought, okay, well, there you go. Wow, this is really developing. And you know what? No, no." Uh, so what I'm saying is it's not responsible for the press to do this stuff. They're, and they're not working real hard to dispel the myth. I mean, the funny thing is, is you walk in here and you say, well, you know, he, he didn't act. BuzzFeed is sticking by their story. And it's like, no, you got nothing. And the press didn't do anything to dispel liberals' glee and, and liberals' desperation. What, what the liberal the press did to dispel it. It's been the various little minuscule twists and turns of the reporting have been discussed endlessly over the past like five, six days. Well, what, what you could have done was verify it. In other words, if you were CNN or NBC, instead of going with the story, ooh, ooh, Trump uh, is, is obstructing justice, uh, with you, you could have gone to uh, Mueller and said, "Hey, is this true?" Before you pl plaster it all over the United States and convince. So what's what the press wants to do is to have every liberal in the country and everyone that's not really paying attention to walk around thinking, "Yeah, yeah, Trump, exactly Trump lied. No. Trump, Trump d obstructed justice." No. And and you know what? It, I didn't even know that BuzzFeed had retracted this they until... They, they don't, they're not retracted, but anyway, that's... So, the, so it the really happened. No, but the reporting I've seen was not that Trump did this, but all the reporting I saw was that BuzzFeed is reporting this. And well, that, oh, that's just such a, such a minor little thing. No, it isn't, because, no, people, because people BuzzFeed to this. is... People, the, 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 the media found it odd that this reporting would come from BuzzFeed, which is known for listicles, to, you know, 12 cats who think, who think they're people, and, and take this quiz to see which Disney princess you are. Um, so, it's... Turn your head away from me. Okay. All, All right. right. So let's move on to the next thing. We've gone over... What's our, what's our next... Before you... It, part of that is, how does that affect impeachment? Well, was it, there talk because there was talk of impeachment? Yeah, the Atlantic came out with a, a cover story that says now's the time to impeach. And are they going to come up with another cover story saying we were wrong about that? Now isn't the time to impeach? Of course not. But I mean, it, it's it's being discussed. I don't know when or if he should be impeached. Um, and I I, I kind of think now isn't the time to impeach because there's. Uh, not really a lot to base impeachment on at this point. And so I gotta say, wait and see. How does that affect the media's credibility, would you say, Rick? Or, or does it not Which, affect it at all because they reported so wildly about it? 
reporting so wildly about what? The BuzzFeed story that... I, I think the, the, was the sources I follow were, were fine, because everybody said BuzzFeed is reporting this. BuzzFeed, you know, and that was, they're reporting on the reporting of it, and I don't know what they did to, to I assume they were looking into, I don't know, I don't know. At that, beyond the reporting on the reporting, I didn't look to see what the you know, what other sources had done to to verify. Tilt your head more toward me. Oh. That, no, no, that's rotation. Rotate away. Is now it? tilt back. I'm just trying to get you to straighten it out. That's all. Would you would, yeah. you, would that fall into the category head. of your side? Lower your head. Lower your head. That's it. Last. Would you would that fall? Would you consider that fake news? Well, thank you, Camille, and please, you know, I know I didn't do a very good job, but please don't help me, if, even though you are helping me. No, it's just the, the, whole, the whole point is this, Rick, that BuzzFeed comes up with a ridiculous story that makes Trump look terrible, and then all the other news medias report it, and nobody is taking note, oh, BuzzFeed said that, and the news media just goes all, I was driving down the road and I heard ABC say, yeah, Trump, uh, Trump t told someone to lie to court. And I thought, wow, that's a, that's a red, that's a smoking gun well, right that's there. That's not what I heard. All, everything I yeah. heard was that BuzzFeed says this. BuzzFeed, and yeah, but, but the thing is, if you're driving down the street casually and you're listening to music and you're going through the stations, you then just hear this uh, part of a report and, and that, that of the smoking gun of what Trump did, it's reported on all the liberal news uh, networks, right. CNN, ABC, and then they do nothing to retract it. Well, the announcement part, anyway, we, we've, now we're, we're repeating ourselves. Well, no, so but, but we're not repeating ourselves because it's obvious that you guys are being propagandized and lied to. And, and the, the ultimate story, the thing that goes out to the American people, is that Trump is a dirty bastard. And, and the news media does nothing to correct itself, and you know perfectly well. Everybody freaking got corrected, so now nobody knows what, whether this thing has any credibility. No, or when not. you walked in here, you believed it. You believed it, you just said, oh, well, they stick by their story. Yeah, they that, do, that but, was your but, reaction. No, and my then, reaction is wait and see. Let's fucking wait and see, and that's what I well, say. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Couldn't, couldn't you just take Mueller's word for it? If Mueller says, no, because hey, Mueller... I'm the investigator, and I don't think, and Trump didn't do this, isn't that the end of it? No, no, because... no you're holding out hope that he did it. No, because all the reporting I've Lower seen... Lower your head. All the reporting I've, I've seen is that Mueller didn't discount the entire report, that there were just parts of it, but I don't know. Right, all the reporting you heard made sure that you believe that Trump did it. You know what I like to do? And that mother, you know, and What that I mother? like to do is I like to wait and see until everything gets digested. Gets, I'm, a baby, I'm a baby fucking bird. I want somebody to chew up the news till it's nice and soft and wet and then spit it all digested, spit it into my mouth so it's easy for me to understand. So I'm going to wait and see uh, into this upcoming week to see if there's, once everything's all shaken down and shaken out, whether there's any actual content to this report. So you're concurring what Lance said then, uh, Rick? No, because yeah. Lance says there's nothing there. I'm saying I'll wait and see until somebody no. vomits into my mouth you're, the, the CNN, right thing to think. CNN and NBC and MSNBC were all vomiting that, that Trump did this. No, that's what Lance says. I say that they all reported that BuzzFeed reported this. And I assumed that it was accurate. And then other stuff, Mueller came out and said no. And now I'm just waiting. Now I, I'm, I'm hanging fire. I'm waiting and seeing. I'm sitting in the nest with my mouth wide open. Don't lower your head. Lower your head. Lower your head. All right. That's waiting a, don't, for don't Tuesday make, or Wednesday. Don't when, flap your wings or anything. Yeah. When Rachel, Rachel Maddow or the LA Times, or the Washington Post. Reputable the, sources all. Uh -huh, or the New York Times, like says, well, here's kind of the deal. Here's what, here's where it stands now. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing. We've all already, right, we've chewed this up. So let's move on to, uh, Trump. Trump made a speech to the nation, offering what he calls a deal. And he still wants 5.7 billion for the wall, he wants, 
800 million for support services for the wall, another 800 million for something else, and he will give DACA's dreamers, people who are not U.S. citizens but who were brought to the U.S. as kids and are now young adults, he'll give them um, three years of, of limited amnesty. They don't have to worry about getting kicked out for three years. Nancy Pelosi says that deal is dead on arrival. Um, we're on day 31 of the shutdown. Um, I read up a little more on the wall um, over this past week. And I can see where there are places where fences could be reinforced and made more wall-like and it might increase the effectiveness of the cross-border. I can see where you could spend some money strengthening the border physically. And then everybody, both sides, say that there are plenty of things you can do in terms of advanced tech, other ways. Human, Lower your head. Okay. You either, in, uh, Trump wants 2,700 more border guards. That's part of his plan. Um, deal, whatever you want, uh, or offer. Um, and both sides agree that there are things that can be done. Though the Democrats are dug in on the side of no wall, and the Republicans and Trump are dug in on the side of wall. Um, but nobody disagrees that, um, everybody agrees that the, the, the border security could be tight. Um, I, but a lot of people disagree that, that wall is the solution. Even you agree that wall isn't the solution for all across all 2,000 miles of the border. I, the, I, actually, the, I actually think we need a bear. I'm for, um, if it was up to me, I would have a, a wall almost everywhere. I mean, uh, I don't think we need a wall at the top of a 10,000 foot mountain. But yeah, there's this notch in New Mexico where but, it goes wall and then it goes mountain and then it goes wall. Again. Yeah, but the thing is the Democrats just don't want any uh, any control of the border. They want as many voters as no, they can get. The, the, you say that, you've said that probably 50 times. Yeah, and you have no evidence that I'm wrong. Except that all the, the building of the, of the fences and the walls and the, and the, and the many, many times that security's been tightened. Um, you've got, there's this Republican congressman whose district in Texas covers something like 600 miles of the border. That guy doesn't want wall. That guy wants other means of securing the border. That guy's a freaking Republican. So I don't, you want, and we don't, the, we are, you just want to hand it over to engineer, wall engineers. Yes. I don't want Nancy Pelosi deciding where and what, where the wall should be, what kind of materials. It's really not her job. The reason she's getting involved is because she's trying to confuse people like yourself, and she well, has succeeded I, I think, oh, in convincing on. you that there's some sort of issue about what kind of wall it should be, where it should be. Those are those are distractions. Yeah, That's but I think we have Pelosi trying to convince you that she has some uh, noble motive behind this, when it really what it is is she just wants as many. Uh, people to cross the border as possible and turn them into Democrats. No, that's just, that's mostly horseshit. But no, wait, but I think can you, hold on, we wait have a minute, what is the reason that she doesn't want a wall? Can you please explain it to well, me Well, right again? now, just in this little span of time, this 31 days of the shutdown and then the months Lower leading head. up to it. Um, what kind of a model are you? Keep the pose, man. Well, I'm a model who's arguing with you. Um, but I think we have more common ground than than the nature of the debate is admitted. When you say you want to turn it over to engineers, yes. I think what you are mean is you want to turn it over to experts. Uh -huh. And you don't consider Nancy Pelosi an expert. Well, that's true. So if there were some company, say, I wouldn't say Halliburton, but if there were some company like Halliburton that was 
that sold itself as the foremost expert on border security, you would... You Rick, Rick, this is what I... Don't tell me what I would do. Here's what I would do. I would say, very simply, that the Democrats are making this very more complicated than it should be, and unfortunately, they have snookered people like you. All right? You're the, you and very loyal, zombie-like, brainwashed Democrats are out there arguing, well, you know, I think there's stretches of the border that require different forms of material. Yeah, I think thing. there are parts where we need water, uh, parts where we need alligators. Over here, we could have concrete. There, it should be wide open. And, and, and here, we should have robots going in on little with wheels. You know what, Rick? It's not your concern. The Democrats have confused you into wanting to get involved. It's very simple. The Border Patrol knows where they want it. They will hire reputable people, the Army uh, Corps of Engineers, and they will build barriers that are adequate. Well, that, the that's... reason they can't do that is because Nancy Pelosi has confused you into thinking that you've got to get involved. You've yeah, got to judge this. Yeah, you've got to figure out, gee, you know, those Republicans could be wrong. There might be an area where, where there's quicksand, and that's even better. No, 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 no. We can't let Trump just build a wall. We've got to, we've got to stop the coal, shut the government yeah, down. I'm not sure that I'm disagreeing with you about the nature of what needs to be done. The, you need people who know what the fuck they're doing to, to make the calls as to how to secure the board. Okay, you need, you need to do two things, okay? You need to admit that your side is against building a wall. We've had this argument four times in a row, and, and you know what, I, for the, for the, because I consider the feelings of our audience, of our, of our billions of viewers, I don't want to have to go through this thing again. Well, no, let me be but, clear, but, and then but we can move on. your side, you need to understand that your side is creating an obstruction with all kinds of stupid arguments about what kind of wall it should be, they're shutting down the government so that they won't have to fund a wall. That's the reason. Your side is against building a wall. Your side is unreasonable. No, but I will say that at this point in the debate, the Democrats are, don't want to agree to anything that has wall in it because it, they see that as a political loss. Okay, but Rick, hold on, Rick, hold on, hold on, Rick, hold on. You don't do things because they're a political loss. Yeah, but Trump, that, that, is, that is the definition of corruption. Trump's whole wall thing is a political No, wall. it's not. I, I, I wanted a wall before he was running. I wanted a wall 10 years ago. So do all the other Republicans. As a matter of fact, the Democrats wanted a wall. Everybody wanted a wall 10 years ago. Yeah. They got this lousy fence that didn't work. Everyone agreed we needed it reinforced. They voted for it. Schumer voted for it. Pelosi voted for it. And, and, they, and they never built it. And we're just trying to get what the country needs. It's not a political thing. It's a totally political thing. But anyway. Wait a minute. Doing... Wait a minute. You said this last week. How do you know? that Trump doesn't want the wall so that he can cut down illegal immigration. Well, he does, but it's Wait a minute, political. he does. But he's still Wait, 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 wait. It's You're still saying, political. you've said that Trump wants to build the wall in order to cut down illegal immigration. I mean, that's part of it, yeah. But okay, well, why isn't that just the explanation? Why can't we just stop there? No, but it, because it's there's it's it's steeped, it's marinated in politics. Fine, the way fine. The chicken breasts are marinated in this delicious sauce of Dr. Hogley Wobbly's Tyler Texas barbecue. Well, that goes without saying. But, but listen to me. Wait, also, wait, you wait, gotta wait. tape me because I have so to break you, it. You've second. said, you've admitted that there is a good motive with some politics. You say, but what is the good motive? that the Democrats have in preventing a wall from being built, other than politics. Boondoggle. It's too expensive? No, the, 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 yeah, well, the, it's, they, the, Demo well, two things. One, the Democrats want 
a wall that uh, they want border security that makes sense and they also want something to be done about other aspects as does trump both sides want you, other aspects you, of immigration you were, to be you were going okay so why don't the democrats want to, why is it good that the democrats don't want a wall what is the good reason that they don't want a wall the Demo well the democrats want a reasonable they want the billions to be that will be spent on increased border security to be spent reasonably. And I don't think either side really disagrees, except it's a completely politicized. Well, no, wait a minute. You just told me that the Democrats have a good reason that they don't want a wall bill. What is that good reason? That a wall, a fully, a full wall wall across 2,000 miles yeah. of border uh, runs between, I don't know, runs at least 25 billion. Um, Rick, that's a drop in the bucket. I for know the it's not States. that much compared to everybody. We have a, we have a, we have a, our budget is trillions and trillions of dollars. Lance, you have to understand that also um, there are thousands, of, there are hundred thousand people right now that are rotate suffering. Rotate away, rotate away. Thank you. There are thousands of people that are not getting paychecks. And secondly, Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, has said that the wall is immoral. So you have two major things. Why is the wall immoral, Rick? Well, I'm not Nancy Pelosi, so I don't know why she's... I think the wall... I don't know, I'm not in her head. Perhaps the wall for her stands as a symbol of a, an exclusionary policy that... Exclusionary? Exclude... Well, Can't, what, don't a, we have a, a right policy to... that says fuck you to people who want to come to America. Oh, don't we have a right to decide who comes here? Yeah, but we also have been a country that's welcomed immigrants historically. Yeah. So anyway, I keep saying you got to take need... me up because I. Have all, to right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, I'll get you back in. Just you'll sit down. I'll get you back. No, in. just put some tape down. Like all right, I hate that. taping people. All right, so let's no, take no, a break. No, 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 let, let, let me take. Let me take. About the people that are not getting paychecks. Uh, people not getting paychecks. Well, I'm concerned about the people that illegal aliens are murdering. Uh, so we got to stop that, and then we can get these people paychecks. And by the way, if you're worried about people getting their paychecks, then give Trump the five seven five point seven billion so he can build the wall, and then you can get the paychecks to all those people. See, the Democrats don't care if they're suffering; it doesn't bother them. If, if you well, know, here's what, they're here's, the what the, the here's what the Democrats love: that fifty-five percent of Americans, according to polls, um, blame Trump and the Republicans. Yeah, the same polls that... Same I know, no, you don't trust yeah, Democrat polls. I don't trust, I don't trust Democrat polls. All right, All right. So like that's, that's enough. All right, do, do, no, put it, let's see. All right, just take a pencil and draw a line right where my foot is there. Are you still filming this? Oh well, yeah. Yeah. But right, so then we'll I break. We'll break. Just right there, right there, right there, right there. You can't even see that. I better put a tape down. Okay. Never draw with a two H, guys. It's an architecture pencil. All right. Okay. All right. Let's break. All right. All right. All right. Break. Yeah. Okay.